and I'd argue this is the most important thing I can share with you today, is the concept of Parkinson's Law. Um, Parkinson's Law points to the behavior of how we function with money. This is the answer, by the way, to, we are on number, oh, I skipped ahead, number five, the concept of Parkinson's Law is the answer to number five. So if you're back to that side, number five is Parkinson's Law. I did answer number four, in case you missed it. The income account acts as a serving tray only, is the answer number four. You only deposit income into it and then allocate money to the other accounts. So it's serving tray and allocate for number four. Number five is the concept of Parkinson's Law. Um, so let's go into that. So Parkinson was a theorist from the 1940s studying human behavior and um, studies this concept of supply and demand. Uh, there's an established accent around this. It looks like this. You probably know the supply and demand curve. What we've been told in Economics 101 is that as demand increases, supply will increase to meet demand, right? The more people want to consume the products you have to offer, the more you'll create them. Uh, the more that people want what we're doing, the more competition will set in. That's the supply-demand curve. And he said, this is uh, accurate in some cases, but in many cases it's not. He goes from a behavioral aspect, it's actually reversed. He said it's actually as supply increases that demand will increase in many cases. And, and we already talked about this. The, the plate of food. As the supply of food has gotten bigger over time, bigger supply, our demand has increased for it. My addiction, my food addiction is chocolate chip cookies. I mean, I love chocolate chip cookies. Um, and if you put one chocolate chip cookie in front of me, inevitably I will eat it. I'll play a stupid game like, oh, I really shouldn't, I really shouldn't. And blah, right? <laughs> if you put 15 chocolate chip cookies in front of me, I won't, I'll eat more than one. I'll still play a stupid game. I shouldn't, I shouldn't. Okay, okay. <laughs> and I'll be sitting in the corner loathing myself. What am I doing? He pointed out as supply increases, um, demand will increase to meet that supply. He then pointed out in his study, Parkinson did, that as we constrict supply, this is now the new supply curve here, as we reduce supply, that demand is automatically reduced. It's called forced frugality, right? If you, if you only put one cookie in front of me, I can't eat two. Forced frugality. He said there's something else fascinating that happens. As we restrict supply, our behavior around that item changes. If you put one cookie in front of me, that's when I start savoring. You know, I'll lick the plate to get the extra crumbs. 15 is like, whatever, just cram in my mouth. So I become much more frugal and innovative in its use. This is true for cookies. It's true for money. It's true for toothpaste. And uh, I just want to share this because tonight you're going to experience this. Every one person in this room will experience this. And I want to you say, share this because I want to prove that Parkinson's law, this behavior of supply controlling our demand, is wired into every one of us. Tonight, who, who's staying at, at a hotel, by the way? Oh, a lot of people. Okay. So me too. Tonight, when you brush your teeth, I want to watch what happens. You know, you take out your toothbrush, and you grab your tube of toothpaste, and put it on there. I, you know, with that long beat. I put it on there, and um, I turn on the hotel I I turn the faucet on. I don't know what's going on in Chicago, but the water pressure here. I turn it on, the water like attacked me, hits the toothpaste, whoosh, went flying across the room. I'm like, see a toothpaste? Good to see you. It's been a pleasure. But not really. And then I had a brand new tube, so what do I do? I put it on there. I start brushing away. When there's a full supply of toothpaste, if there's waste, who cares? We got some more. Just go, baby, go. But tonight, one person in this room will have that, <laughs> you put play your toothbrush, you look at your tube, and it's that shriveled up prune, you know what I'm talking about? A prune like gnarled toothpaste. So what happens in that moment? You become a superhero. That's what happens. The, the power, the, 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 those workouts you've been, for your entire life, is now gonna pay off. Right, you see that empty tube of toothpaste, you're like, okay, game on, mother. Game on, I've been waiting for this moment, right? And you're in your hotel room saying this to yourself, by the way. And then you grab the two toothpaste, and that's when you start the twisting and the turning. You're like, come, 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 come. You had know? that vein you didn't realize you have when your forehead starts pulsing in the mirror. Neighbors in the hotel are like, what the hell is going on over there? It's a murder. You're like, you son of a bitch, I'll kill you. <laughs> 911. 
who gets the call. Yeah, you, know, you start twisting it. The innovation's unbelievable. Some, some people tell me they put it in the door jam and start slamming the door. What one guy told, oh, cut off the backside of toothpaste. Go the other way, baby. In through the outdoor. <laughs> Which when he said in through the outdoor, I'm like, that's just. You're screaming in a hotel room by yourself saying in through the outdoor. Then, what? <laughs> have you read the turtle head of toothpaste? You know what I'm talking about? You know, the double thumb grip. Like you, you put both thumbs behind the toothpaste tube, you're like, come on! You start pushing, and all of a sudden, with enough garnished strength, the little turtle head starts poking up. It's like, hey, what's, what's going on? You, are you getting to brush your teeth today? Right? And you're like, yeah. But the only way to get that little turtle is you have to grab your toothbrush. So, you, so just for a second, just for a second. One thumb like launches over, one hand launches over, and as you release the thumb, it's a turtle after all. It's like, oh, I know what you're doing, bitch. <laughs> right? And you're like, oh my god. Somehow, miraculously, you scoop out one droplet of toothpaste on one bristle hair, and you're like, that's all I wanted, that's all I needed. Right? <laughs> that's the turtle I And listen, the story here is supply of the toothpaste gets restricted. We become more innovative in using it. Frugality, we keep on using it. I bet you a new tube of toothpaste lasts you, I don't know, four weeks? Well, have an empty one. I bet you can stretch that one for three, sometimes four weeks, right? Parkinson's law. Now, here's the beauty. You are living it, because you laughed at it. It means you're doing it. You are living Parkinson's law. Every human being is. And that means it's wired into us for toothpaste, for cookies. It's wired into us for money. You see, this is the toothpaste tube down here. As we start constraining and restricting the amount of cash available to operate our business, it will force frugality. It will force you to find ways to make the business operate.